Being tested for STD or STIs can seem overwhelming, especially if you've never been tested before. Whatever the reason or level of concern, it can be helpful to know a little bit about what to expect when you come to Choices for your screening appointment. Many people ask, what's the difference between STD and STI? The answer is simple. There really isn't. The two terms are used pretty interchangeably. STD means sexually transmitted disease, and STI means sexually transmitted infection. STDs or STIs can be bacterial, viral, or parasitic infections that are spread either through bodily fluids or intimate skin-to-skin -skin contact during sexual intercourse or other types of sexual encounters. At your pregnancy test appointment, we use a sample of your urine to screen for gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomoniasis. Your urine screen is then sent from Choices to our lab partner, Path Group, where they will run the testing. Results are then sent back to Choices, where our nurse practitioner reviews the labs. The nurse practitioner or registered nurse will contact you with any positive results. They will then answer any questions you may have, go over your treatment plan, and provide education on other ways to reduce your risk of contracting a future STD or STI. During this time, you will also have an opportunity to discuss partner treatment. Once Path Group has received your urine, test results are typically returned to choices within 24 to 48 hours. After our nurse pr practitioner reviews the results, you will be notified as soon as possible, but keep in mind it may take up to a week or so to share those results with you. STDs pose a serious risk to women's future reproductive and overall health, especially if left untreated. According to the Center for Disease Control, in the United States, one out of every four women between the ages of 14 and 19 is affected with at least one STD. If you are having symptoms and you have had a recent unprotected or even protected sexual exposure that you may be concerned about, you should probably be tested for an STD or STI. However, remember that most STDs are asymptomatic or symptom-free, but can still do a lot of damage to the body and reproductive system. It is also important to know that STDs and STIs can complicate your pregnancy and may have serious effects on both you and your developing baby. Any abortion procedure, including a medical abortion, increases the risk of bacteria to be carried into the cervix. STD testing and treatment is particularly important before an abortion because chlamydia, the most common STD in the U.S., rarely has symptoms. Women who have an untreated STD are 23% more likely to develop pelvic inflammatory disease, also known as PID, following an abortion procedure.